got some logs that I cut last fall that are walnut, cherry, and ash, but they're pretty wet. They're laying on the ground, and they're pretty stringy. Plus, they have a lot of knots and crotches and things in them, so they don't split too great. I'm going to show you my refabbed screw-type log splitter that I built out of one that you back on with a vehicle. The screw is an awfully sharp, the sun sharp as some plus the wedge that you see there in the bottom that I think is quite critical for safety and this line that we're looking at here is my safety shutoff line the uh, drivetrain has got a couple of sprockets and a chain in there which actually gears it down quite a lot from the PTO speed here's that uh, on off switch there's on there's off now we're, this is a walnut, and you see how it slips up over that uh, wedge there, which keeps it from twisting on the screw, from the screw. And even though that was split fairly good, it's stringy and all kind of hanging together yet. I'll give it a couple more wax. The uh, wedge is mounted a little bit off to the left center on the screw. When the uh, screw enters the log, it kind of twists a little bit. If the wedge is right in the center, it won't go in the crack. Even so, it doesn't always go in the crack anyhow. Usually it does though. got that bar that you see me pushing the log on with. That helps quite a lot, either uh, getting it started or helping along if the uh, screw isn't grabbing it real good. That's a piece of ash there which got a pretty good straight grain except it's got a knot or two in it which doesn't help it. Plus it is still wet. So it's a little stringy too. Some of these logs, it's a little bit hard to tell how to uh, 
line them up with the screw so that they do split with the knots and things in them. It's kind of a trial and error deal. You'll notice that the screw could be a little bit sharper. The wedge is a little to the left of center. And we'll give the safety line a pull.